Hi friends, I'm back again. Read you another story all about caterpillars and butterflies. This one's called From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Helligan and illustrated by Bari Westman. From Caterpillar to Butterfly. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into what? A butterfly, a beautiful butterfly. There it is. Everybody's so excited. They're saying yay. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillars change into butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. It's a big word. There they are. Some butterflies already outside. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. It says up here, a butterfly is an insect. And over here, you see a tiny little egg. It says the egg is tiny. It is the size of a pinhead. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. This here says, the mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. There they are. They're munching away, they're hungry. Over here it says, the caterpillar is also called the larva. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. They are, they're all coming in to look. And there's the caterpillar. He's growing. This right here says, the caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. That's almost two weeks. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. It grows out of its skin, crazy. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. There they are, using their finger to measure the size of the caterpillar. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. There it is. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This is, this shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. 
We remember that. Another name for the chrysalis is a pupa. Each day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. This right here says the caterpillar stays in the chrysalis about one week. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and we wait. Some patient friends waiting so nice. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. This chrysalis is hatching. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. That's so exciting. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly. And we saw it happen. Our late butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on the, onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. There he is. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. So cool. Our butterflies cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with the flowers and the grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. They feel sad because it's going away, but happy because it grew so fast. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it's a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. The egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. This right here says, Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, xena, butterfly bushes, and mint. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. It shows you all the butterflies. This one here is called a black swallowtail, a monarch, a cabbage white butterfly, a dog face butterfly, a common blue butterfly, and a buckeye. Pretty cool. You'll have to take a look around your yard to see if you can find any butterflies. And that's it, friends. Another story all about butterflies. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye.